We start with charges tonight in the death of a retired priest on Interstate 94 in St. Paul. This man, Nathan Wandra, is accused of murder after telling police he was hearing voices. As we first reported yesterday, it began with a 911 call from a man claiming to have assaulted another man inside a vehicle. The police response led to a large backup on the interstate. Inside that car, officers found Wandra and the priest identified as Father Lawrence Johnson. Richard Reeve joins us with the latest on the investigation. And Rich, we're learning that it began with the priest trying to help Wandra. Yeah, Lindsay, that's right. Court records show Father Lawrence Johnson, retired since 2009, had befriended Wandra, took him to Mass, and was driving him to the hospital when he was killed. A police spokesperson says, and says he hasn't seen a case like this in 30 years. These court documents tell us how Father Lawrence Johnson lost his life, trying to help his accused killer. There was a party who was having a mental break and possibly had choked a male. It happened here along a busy I-94 near Pryor Avenue early Thursday afternoon. Prosecutors say 32-year-old Nathan Wandra called 911, self-reporting he had strangled Father Johnson after telling him minutes before to pull over. The suspect vehicle is going to be a smaller silver vehicle. On scene, uh, a vehicle occupied by two males was located. One of those males, an elderly male, who was driving the vehicle, was unconscious and not breathing. Wandra told police Father Johnson was driving him to Regents Hospital to get a mental health evaluation. He said he and the 76-year-old retired priest, shown here in a photo from the 1980s, was a father figure and that their relationship was entirely platonic, that he stayed at Father Johnson's retirement home in this building Wednesday night, then went to mass together. But according to the documents, Wandra heard voices in his head telling him to kill Father Johnson to save humanity, that Wandra admitted he knew choking Father Johnson was wrong, but that the priest needed to be a martyr for something bigger. Yes, stayed on scene. He was in the passenger seat of the vehicle when officers arrived. It is very unusual. He has some uh, pieces to it that uh, in my 30 years I have not seen. Archbishop of St. Paul and Minneapolis, Bernard Hebda, notifying clergy of Father Johnson's death, saying, please know that you and the soul of Father Johnson are in my prayers. Wander's father told police he had not noticed any mental health issues or changes to his son's behavior, but said his son had not felt well lately. Court records do not show any civil commitment of Wandra with regards to mental health. He remains in custody at the Ramsey County Jail, Lindsay. All right, Rich, thank you so much.